Hello there my friends and welcome to the Hans Moore YouTube channel. This video tutorial is my original take of how to make devil horns and pointed devil ears. And to create the devil horns and the devil ears you will need a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll, scissors, tape, liquid latex, and a brush to apply the liquid latex. You will need toilet paper or tissue squares. You will need red paint or red face paint, black paint or black face paint to paint the horns and the ears. And you will need a brush to apply the paint. Now, let's begin this tutorial. Okay, to get started on this tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the evolutional steps to make the devil horns, which are not completely painted yet, and the uh, pointed devil ears or elf ears. Okay, first of all, you're going to need your paper towel roll. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut the paper towel roll into... Then you're going to roll up the paper towel roll, and when you roll it up, it's going to look like this. So you'll take this, and you just come in here like that, just kind of pull it tight like this. Then you're going to take your tape, and you're just going to tape down the horn or paper towel roll like that. And that's going to hold it together. And when you're done for the next step, you're going to actually take and completely tape it all the way down. Then you're going to take this part here and you're going to cut this off. But what you want to do, you want to cut it off with a slant. So this way, when it's on your forehead, it will be pointed upward or downward, however you like. Um, but you don't want to cut this straight across. You want to cut it at a slant. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to use this one here. I'll show you the difference. Just going to come in here and kind of measure that to about there. Just cut this. That way, you have a slant there. You want to cut it kind of, you can actually flatten it out a little bit, make sure it's even. Okay. This way, it's even to where it will stick on your forehead with a slant. Now, after you've cut this, you're going to take balled up tissue paper just like that and you're going to kind of stuff it in here so you're going to want to take your tissue paper and fold it but well, first of all you're going to just kind of stuff it down in there to kind of fill that hole because this part's going to go against your forehead and it needs to be flat so put one in there then kind of take another one and just kind of fold it a little bit so it's kind of flat like that. And then you're going to put this in there to give you more of a flat surface. And if it doesn't work, then add another piece of toilet paper in there until it is completely flat. So when it is completely flat, it'll kind of look like this. So that way, it'll have a flat surface for your forehead. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, I'm, just, I'm going to apply the liquid latex to the cardboard and then I'm going to put tissue paper using the liquid latex around the horn. But you want the horn to be um, have these indentations, so you don't want to put it on there. You want to kind of take the tissue paper and fold it. In little pieces so it's kind of uh, texturized okay so I'm going to do that right now 
set this here. I'm going to take my liquid latex and my brush, and then I'm going to be using tissue squares. And this is a really simple process. You can buy your liquid latex online on Amazon.com. It's just called liquid latex, and it's wonderful for um, your adhering things to your skin or putting things on on making prosthetics. Okay, so you're just going to coat the horn like this and get it. And what I would do is just do a little bit here, then. Don't do the whole thing yet because it'd be too too tacky and sticky. So you're just going to lay this on here like that, and then you're going to kind of just fold it. You're just folding it and making it wrinkly, like this. And you just want those wrinkles to be in there. So I'm going to continue along, and I'll use two tissue paper, I think, to cover this well. So wrinkle it up, keep it wrinkly. Yep, don't put it on there straight, just let it be wrinkly. And we're gonna add another one. Then once it overlaps, go ahead and just add more liquid latex over top of the other tissue paper. And again, keep those wrinkles because that's what this is all about adding the wrinkles and the creases of this horn to give it a lot of uh, texture to look organic and then just kind of come in here and press it down like that and that's all you do to get this look now the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the liquid latex and I'm going to cover everything and the liquid latex will turn into like a, a rubber and the rubber um, will dry and turn a little yellow and when it's completely done the horn is going to look like this like that they're a little they're a little uh, sticky so you can see they're still a little sticky but they're rubber. I'm going to continue coating this so you can get an idea of exactly how simple this process is. And this stuff, when it sticks to your skin, it peels off so simply with a little bit of uh, water and soap. So what I'm going to do, while it's drying, I'm going to just put it inside of a little cup like that and just allow it to dry. So that completes that process and when they're done they're going to look like this again. Okay, now I'm going to start painting. I'm going to just go ahead and start painting the whole thing red like that. And this is a uh, face paint by Sn Snazaru and it dries quickly. So I'm just going to paint the whole thing red and give it some nice little coat there and it doesn't have to be perfect, just like that, okay? Now while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and do this one, red, so come up there. Now I want to add red and black to my horns and I think I'm going to start off with the black at the bottom where the forehead, um, the devil is made of fire, supposedly, um, in theory, and I'm going, and the devil's skin is going to be red. Uh, the makeup would be red, so in order to have a good contrast with the horn and coming off the forehead, a good contrast would be to add the black first when it comes off of the forehead and that way it just gives it a good contrast against that red. So let's pretend this is the skin of the the devil's forehead. I'm now just going to come in here with my black. I'm just going to kind of paint down this like that. Just give it a little bit of fade and then I'm going to add a heavy heavy black at the base and that is going to give me that contrast against the red skin. 
Okay, so that one's complete. I'm going to allow this one to dry, and I'm just going to repeat that one with this one. It's pretty heavy black, very noticeable against the red skin. And I'm just going to kind of streak up this a little bit to let it kind of do a softer fade. And there we have. Now, on to the devil ears or elf ears tutorial. First, you're going to start with your paper towel or toilet paper holder and you're going to just flatten this out. And when you do, it's going to look like that. Next, I went ahead and drew my design for the right on here for my ear. And then you just flip this upside down to do the left ear. Well, you flip it this way to do the left. And then to do the right. So how I came up with this design, I'm going to kind of give you a quick... Basically, you're going to take your toilet paper roll and you're going to cut like a little triangle. Then you're going to hold this over your ear and you're going to trace an arc, half moon shape over the size of your ear. I'll show you how this fits on later. And that way you come up, so first you're going to kind of have a triangle. And then you're going to kind of shape the ear a little bit. And you'll put this over your ear and then trace the size of your own anatomical ear to get the right size. Then after you're done, where you traced your ear to get your little pointed ear, and I'll show you how this fits on again my ear on the end of this video. Okay, so you're going to have one shape just like that. You can take that shape, then trace it onto the next shape, and then cut that out. And that will give you two different ears. Two different shapes for the left and the right. Now, when you're done with this part, you're going to take your tape... I'm using scotch tape, you can use whatever color tape you want, as long as you can paint on it. And you're going to just tape down the ear to close it off. The only part you want open is this part. Okay, and you're going to repeat that for this one. I went ahead and took the cardboard and I painted it red just to show you you can still make a red little pointed ear and you can just paint it with no tissue paper on it and, it's, and your left and right ear is going to look like this. If you decide you don't or if you do not have any liquid latex or any glue to glue the toilet paper on you can still make um, elf ears or devil ears and stop at this process and be completely done. But if you decide you want to take it and te texturize. Now you can also add some black to this red here. So if I was just to kind of come in here with a little bit of black, I could still you know, texture my ear just a little bit to kind of give it a little bit of a look on both sides. You know, however you decide you'd like to do that, just on the edges. And just kind of come in here and just add some black in there, black and red mixture. You can still do that, and you'll you'll get a different effect. That's depends on how creative you'd like to be with the painting. But now what I want to show you is here are the finished devil ears with tissue paper and liquid latex covering the ears. So I have the left ear and the right ear. Okay, I'm going to show you how to take one of these ears. Let's do the, um, let's say this one. Let's just do this ear. And I'm going to take the liquid latex. 
apply it to the front of this ear. Just like that. And I'm going to wrinkle it up just like this. You can see it. Wrinkle it. Keep it nice and wrinkled. Just fold it all down on there. Press it and mold it to the shape of the ear. And then now we have a finished piece with the liquid latex on there. And we're just going to allow that to dry. Now after the ears are dry, I'm just going to take the red and paint the devil's ears red. Now even though this is the front, I only put toilet paper on the front of the ear. This way I know that that is the front of the ear. Now you can probably flip these ears around and wear them two different ways if you choose to. Okay, now the ears are painted red. I'm just going to take a little dab of black just to add a little bit of black on here. And it's going to kind of do like that with my finger. There's the finished look of my ear. And the ears are complete. And this is how I want my ears to be more pointed. So I just put them down over the ear like that. And there I have devil ears. What you'll do is you'll paint your entire ear red, your whole face red, and then you'll put these on like that. Got my pointed ears on, they fit because I traced it well. And then I'm going to have my devil horn. Just like that. So, kind of have to hold this up here. Look like that. I do hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial on how to make devil horns and pointed devil ears using toilet paper rolls and tissue paper and liquid latex. Please check out my makeup tutorials and my other videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Hans Moore.